back on that tutorial on creativity to blender and this tutorial i'm going to be explaining how you can sync your character movement or animation with your clothes design on glow 3d so this tutorial is going to be beginner friendly don't forget to click on the subscribe button and also on the notification bell to get more videos so this character or this animation you are seeing on scene i got it from mixamo so i imported my if you know the process of bringing in your character to mixamo and animating it and picking the animation you want on mixamo then that's how i did that imported it into glow 3 um, blender i mean so this is it yeah so i'll be explaining the two methods you can use as you move on in this video so the first method is using the keyframe method let me explain how to use the keyframe method so uh let me select this amateur and this is the keyframe below from mixamo you hear the animation is from mixamo so the next thing i'm going to do is to drag it to the 30th frame yeah so we are on the 30th frame then i'm going to go to post mode i'm going to select this and i'm going to select post mode <coughs> So when I select post mode, sorry, when I select post mode, I'm going to go to post. I'm going to let me drag my face. It's blocking the options there. So let me select this. I'm going to select clear transform. I'm going to select all. So when I select all, you can see that my um my timeline this uh, uh, timeline is on um frame one. Sorry, I don't know the name to call that. So I'm going to select I. You can see there's a keyframe. So it syncs from this to this. And then you can see that your clothes is going to sync like that when you are recording your animation on Clo 3D. So um, this is the let's assume this is the clothes you've designed on Clo 3D that you want to animate. So your clothes can easily sync from this to this. But imagine you are starting from this first frame now. You get when you import this, uh, when you import your animation from this frame 30 to frame 150, you have to start adjusting your clothes properly to fit in into the character pose, which is quite um, stressful and time consuming so this is what is going to happen now so let me um export this as alembic and bring it into glow 3d then we'll move to the next um, method you can also use to animate your clothes faster again there are two methods so anyone that is um anyone you like or anyone you prefer so i'm going to hold on shift and select this manicure yes i'm going to go to file i'm going to go to export i'm going to go to alembic so i have a folder i created uh, i need to go to my drive expansion view character yes and let me see um uh, technique one technique one yes and i'm going to select selection only and uh oh i didn't adjust the number of keyframes sorry so let me set this to 150 yeah file export alembic we have to do that again yeah Technique one and um, going to select um, selection only. I'm going to select export as Alembic. So you can see it's exporting. So uh, let's assume it has finished exporting. Let's go back to Clo 3D. So the next thing I'm going to do is to delete this avatar. Yeah. So I'm going to stop my simulation. Sorry. I'm going to delete this. Then I'm going to select file. I'm going to select um, import. I'm going to select Alembic. So I'm going to import Technique one and open this i'm going to select i'm going to select add i'm going to select ok you can see this is it so by the time we record this animation on clo 3d the clothes is going to sync in movement let me select make sure you're on animation stable five years and just select this so i'm going to record this so can you see this you can see the um movement the clothes is sinking yeah yeah so this is just how to animate your clue on Clo 3D using this technique, syncing your method. I'll be syncing your animation with your clue on Clo 3D, and then it turns backward or looks backward with this um, animation on Mixamo. Yeah, so can you see? So this is what we have here. Let me pause this and let's go back to Clo. So um, let me just stop this animation. I'm going to select this recording button. I'm going to go to frame one, and I hope you already know how to export your animation to Blender. If you don't know how to do that, you can just check my videos. I talk a lot about Clo 3D to Blender animation, so you should know how to export your Clo design to um, Blender. So I'm going to go back to simulation, and uh, this frame one, right? Because I'll delete this. Um, <coughs> let me be sure if I'm on frame one. Yeah, that's frame one. You're yeah, right. So let's leave this here. So the technique two is morphing style. You can use the morph style. So this morph style, you don't need to actually um, um, start your keyframe like this um you don't need to clear your pose coming let me select this so 
there just select all so you don't need to clear your post and create a um, keyframe at this point here you don't need to do all these do you get so what i'll just do is let me just delete it or let me just undo so that we can have our keyframe from here from sorry yeah so now let's begin the second method so this is what we have here and we have probably about uh let me see how many keyframe guys here yeah. so this is 122 right so um let me set this to 122 right so this is how to fix this or this is how to morph this so um <coughs> first you have to go to the uh, make sure you are selecting your material you have to select this and we need to go to the post um rest position sorry and um we're going to select uh five let me just select all the make sure you selected all these yes hold on shift select the top and select the bottom select five select um export and select um obj we need obj yes so now that we have this i'm going to drag this down go to this go to this i just need this um rest pose rest pose you see this rest pose selection only and export obj that's exported then we're going to go to post position this one again i'm going to select five i'm going to select export i'm going to select obj i'm going to select um this selection only right and i'll just put this as first <coughs> frame selection only yes make sure you check in the selection only then the last one again this is the third one so we're going to go to export i'm going to go to alembic and we're going to go to let me just save it as technique 2 i'm just going to select this plus icon so you can change this to 2 i'm going to select uh export alembic So now you know that this is the animation from Technic One. So let's assume this character was not animated. Now this is how it works. Now, so you first delete the main avatar. You delete it. Depending on how you got your avatar, if you are using um maybe the three avatar, I don't need to delete the avatar there because probably if, um I don't know how to explain it. But then you've imported it with um um rigs on the body. All you just need to do is to import the morph the um the first frame of the rig. Well, let me just do it like this now so uh let's go to import let's go to obj i'm going to go to um where's my drive yeah okay so we have this uh character this is a rest pose first we start rest pose open i'm going to select hard depending on the way you want so just trying to break it down so let's wait for it to import okay so now this is our rest pose you get so now this is where morphing comes in so i'm going to go to file i'm going to go to um import i'm going to go to obj i'm going to select this first frame open i'm going to select add i'm going to select morph target you get i'm going to select okay you might face error this morphy is very tricky so just make sure that anything you select as rest pose should be the same thing you select as the first frame like let me assume so let's assume there are a lot of accessories here make sure that you are selecting the same thing like the same thing you get if you select anything extra it will not morph properly so let's assume this character has a earring or any accessories on the body maybe the first frame now you forgot to select the earring or select any part of those thing you get and then when you select the first frame you select those accessories again because you do not select the accessories in the rest pose it's going to affect the morphing in the uh uh in the first frame so it's not morph to give you an error message so you probably need to like re export the export the um rest pose again with the necessary uh model or anything you want to attach to the character and then you have to do the same thing equal this thing to the um to the first frame i don't know if you understand what i'm trying to say so you might get errors like that but just very important to know what you are selecting when exporting them as obj before bringing it into clip three so let's go back so these are these morph targets and this is select okay so now you can see we have this now so this is the first frame and this is the first frame here you can see this is it this is it now so this is what makes it more easier now so when i delete this i'll just delete this and import the alembic again yeah this method looks quite long but anyone that it fits or anyone that you think sorry that is okay so let's import and let's go to alembic and um, i'm going to go to technique 2 you get i'm going to select open i'm going to select hard i'm going to select uh yeah import alembic yes and select okay so now you see 
it aligns with the clothes um, positioning and then you can just go to simulation go to animation then you can record this then your character should start moving you get so any of your choice anyone that fits your animation the way you want to sync your clothes anyone you feel like is less stressful at first the first one i do is actually the first technique but the second method i use now is more of this one you get because i use um like characters 3d characters no money too but i think it can also work for this too yes anyone is fine so but then well, if you are using the first method i'm just have to start from 30th frame when you are rendering to the last frame because you don't want people to see your character moving from a pose to the first frame the actual pose you get what i'm trying to say you just want to start from the actual pose you get what i'm trying to say so uh that's just it so thank you for watching this tutorial this tutorial is actually beginner friendly for most beginners that want to learn how to animate their clothes on clothes 3 this is the tutorial for you so just make sure you watch it to the end or probably you've already watched it today if you are listening to this so don't forget to click on the subscribe button and also on the notification bell to get more tutorial from timmy the creator so see you in my next video